Good morning. It's August 7th. Our reading today from Solid Stepping Stones is called Poor in Spirit Day. It comes from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 17-19. through 19. To those who are rich in the things of this age, instruct them, 1. Not to think highly of themselves. 2. Neither to hope in the uncertainty of wealth, but in the living God who richly provides for us all things for enjoyment. 3. To do good works. 4. To be rich in good works. 5. To be generous, sociable, saving up for themselves a good foundation for the future in order to lay hold of eternal life. We in America don't realize how rich we really are. I recommend to every Christian to do some missions work in an underdeveloped country for at least two weeks of their life. It changes your gratitude quotient to see what we really have here. The primary danger of wealth is that it itself becomes our strong tower and we begin to feel like we are in control of our own lives. Wealth is a very uncertain temporary thing. It is instructive to read how the lives of some of the wealthiest people in America have ended. Anything that takes the place of God in our lives, anything we depend on besides Him, anything we believe will meet our needs, is an idol. In the beginning, we see wealth as a gift from God, then very surreptitiously the wealth itself begins to usurp the dependence we should have on God Himself. We begin to get what we want when we want it instead of seeking what He wants when He wants it. Our wealth is never ours. We own nothing in this age. Today is poor in spirit day. If your acquisitions are making you feel independently wealthy, become dependent again. God is still in control. Let's pray. Lord, I have nothing you have not given me by your grace. Show me today where I have become independent in my thinking, relying on my talents or wealth. You are the Lord. If you agree with that prayer, say amen. Your readings today are Job chapters 1 and 2 and John chapter 7. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.